Hello everybody and welcome to the stream! I'm LB Hack, I'm up and we're playing a new game today! Woo! We've got some old faces, we got some new faces, and we got some random stuff going on behind the scenes, but you know what? It's gonna be so fun. We're doing our session zero of our mask game today, uh, and this game is called Heroes in Training because it's heroes and they're training how to be them. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us tonight, thank you for hanging out. Uh, for our session zero. It'll be really loosey-goosey. We'll learn the rules. We'll learn uh, about the city, about where they're staying, and about what they'll be doing. So uh, first, let's go around and have everybody introduce themselves so that everyone else knows uh, who they are. And we'll start, as always, with the beautiful Savannah. That's me. Hello. I'm Savvy. I'm at Savvy Seaworth on the internet, mostly on Twitter, where you can find my streaming schedule pinned to the top of my page. Um, I am here every Sunday night doing uh, whatever it is that our lovely game mistress has planned for us. Uh, and then you can also find me on my uh, home channel, uh, twitch.tv slash game nights is game with two G's and nights with a K uh, playing all manner of games, at least Thursday through Sunday and uh, maybe some other days coming up soon. So check it out. But yeah. I'm, I have nothing to say about my character yet, but I'm a big nerd wearing cat ears. So Absolutely. <laughs> that be a slight spoiler, I guess. All right. Hey, Necro. Hey, Pog. Good to see you guys. Uh, next up is our wonderful Rachel. Why don't you let everyone know where they can find you? Hey, that's me. You can find me here on Twitch at Rachel Elizabeth. I'm really bad at everywhere else on the internet. So um, I won't even bother mentioning this. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm bad at the internet, <laughs> but I'm here sometimes. <laughs> Perfect. Um, we'll get to your fan for sauce fire, but let's finish introductions. Next up is Tanya. Oh, hey guys. You can find me at Tanya Roland on Instagram or look at my podcast, Spider Facts with Billy. And I'm here Sunday nights with whatever the hell is going to happen. Oh, shit. Sorry, I hit a button. <laughs> We're still good. Sorry, I hit a button. I was going to do the the check man but uh it's apparently decided to not it said no uh so <laughs> next up uh new well not new to this channel but new to this game our dear friend alex say hello hello i'm alex long time listener first time caller thanks for having me uh hi i'm omg at some guy on the internet mostly over on g game nights along with savvy you can find me there tuesdays thursdays and saturdays sometimes saturdays and sometimes on those Tuesdays, I'm running LB in this game. So now we're flipping the script and going to see how that goes. Yeah. Excited to be here. It'll be super fun is what it's going to be. Um, and I'm LB Hack'em Up. You can find me at LB Hack'em Up on the Twitters and the Twitches. Um, I'm not really on Twitter much anymore, but I do enjoy the arts and all that sort of fun stuff. But uh, I always post when we're live and sometimes I repost my friend's hot pictures. So it's <laughs> my life right now um but i will be the game mistress and i will be orchestrating this uh, event today um i think that uh we're gonna get started uh just a little bit some people have played this game savannah and alex have played a lot of this game rachel and tanya have not uh, it's very similar to monster of the week in that uh in the game structure as far as the playbooks and the um rolling aspect you use 2d6 um we're gonna be using roll 20 so everyone is uh, able to just click and go, um, which I really enjoy about Roll20. Uh, so if you like it, use it. It's great. Um, but we're going to be starting a new game. We're going to be starting a new fun thing today. Uh, it's a uh, sort of a mashup for me of uh, my love of comic books and also my love of anime. Um, it's a very My Hero inspired, um, and, or I'm sorry, Baku no Hero uh, Academia. Uh, <laughs> but um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, all of these guys are playing uh, seniors in uh, a uh, hero academy, which is like a high school. Um, and they are just, they have just gotten their, uh, what would be known as provisional licensing, but uh, it is their like sort of learner's permit as far as uh, hero work goes. You guys will be starting your uh, first time out sort of on your own as a team uh, doing hero work, like patrols and stuff. Uh, your last year was spent doing um, sort of like uh, observe and report hero work uh, without directly engaging unless necessary. Um, you will have a, he's a chaperone, but he's gonna be called your watcher. 
and I can't wait for you to meet him first session, but I'm not going to give that away because he's amazing and uh, I think you guys are going to like him. Uh, but before we start uh, getting into things, uh, I we're gonna let's let's go over character stuff. Uh, everyone's picked a playbook at this point, um, so uh, Savannah, why don't you start and let people know? Give a little blurb about your character and what playbook you're doing. Okay. Uh, how to do blurb uh, is what I'm thinking about. So I am playing the bull playbook, uh, which I am desperately trying to get the PDF up for. Uh, here we go. Uh, so yes, I'm playing the bull. Um, the, the little blurb uh, for the playbook is you're big, strong, and tough. You know what fighting really is, and you're good at it. Sure, you've got a soft side too, but you only show that to the people you care about most. Everybody else, they can eat your fist. <laughs> Which I love. Uh, so yeah, I'm playing um, a uh, a character who is big and strong, and a little bit brash, and likes to solve problems with fighting and punching, mostly. Um, I'm not sure how much I should go into my character concept. Is now the time? Sorry, for sorry I muted myself. Uh, just give a little like. Um like a two sentences of like either their personality or like what because like, your power set is so like i am strong and fast but uh like yes. kind of how it's how it's flavored okay yes yeah, so uh so the bulls uh the bulls abilities are flavored as something changed you and made you into the perfect weapon so they're superhumanly tough incredibly strong and uniquely skilled at fighting so very tough very strong good punches good kicks probably also um and uh, my character's uh, sort of power set has manifested in, uh, I'll just, cat girl. <laughs> I'll just say that. Mm -hmm. um, her, her power is manifested in sort of a, like, very big, strong sort of lioness type, type power set. So uh, she's big and strong and cat themed. As if anyone would expect anything else from me. I love it. Absolutely. Um, that's perfect. Uh, next up, Rachel, why don't you give a little blurb about what, who you're playing? What's going on? I'm going to be playing The Outsider. You're not from here. Your home is an amazing place full of beauty and wonder. But there's something to this place, something special that you're missing back home. Something human. So yeah, you'll be hanging around for now. How much more do you want? What well, give me a little my... flavor about your just a little little insight into like what your character specifically is. Um, so she comes from a planet that is uniquely obsessed with American and not American, but uh, Earth pop culture. Um, none of them have ever been here. They weren't allowed to come to Earth, but I ended up here by mistake, and now my whole mission is telling my home planet all the things that I learned about Earth while having fun here. And, you know, doing hero stuff. Hell yeah. Love it. Love to hear about it. Uh, next up is Tanya. Will you be playing? Okay, I am the Doomed, and I named my character Nancy McGee. Um, my blurb is, something about your powers dooms you. It's just a matter of time before your doom comes for you. Until then, though, you've got a nemesis who needs fighting in a world that needs saving. After all, it's better to burn out than fade away. So without knowing anything about what I'm going to do, I want Nancy to be just completely reckless and uh, almost ignorant. Like she thinks she can do anything, whether she can or not. I love that for you. I think that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> I learned, oh my gosh, so I learned today that that is, that means that's not a good thing, but I actually do. I like that for you. <laughs> I, I, heard, I learned that it means in gay culture, like, bless your heart. <laughs> that's oh. not what I mean. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> All right, Alex, why don't you give your little uh, blurb and we'll do a fan thorp after that. How about that? Yes, so as the Nova, uh, you're a font of power, channel it, and you can remake the world into exactly what you want. 
unleash it and you can do miracles. It's wonderful and terrifying. Lose control for even a second and other people get hurt. And so Nova has a few different options for kind of the way that the abilities are flavored. I've chosen that I'm gonna go with sorcery uh, and kind of be like a mix of Doctor Strange slash Owl House, like lots of circles in the air, but also like Witcher signs and runes and stuff uh, as the source of the power. And then in terms of personality, the, the pitch I've been doing is uh, my hero reference, Bakugo in the sheets, or in the streets, Midoriya in the <laughs> sheets. So Bakugo in the kind of like hero persona type and more of a Midoriya as a civilian. Yes, that's amazing. I'm excited to see all these characters and and play, and I'm really like excited to see them in my world because I was like, oh, we'll do something like easy for me to prep, like a monster of the week or a masks, and then I was like, I'm gonna create all of the NPCs and all of the superheroes that are big in this world, and <laughs> I made hero cards for all of them. <laughs> I can't. I have. That's a 100 is what I got. So, um, yeah, we're gonna we go have some concepts we I do absolutely i also posted on twitter um a like hey give me some ideas for some heroes so i can fill out this world and you guys came through it was great i have some some nice people to come up they might not come up depends on how long we go with this but uh yeah so i will give you a little bit of the world building uh before we get into like character creation so you guys can kind of oh let's sorry let's do the fan thwarp everyone grab your fans alex grab something do you have a notebook? Do you have anything? I'm in the middle of packing. I don't have much. <laughs> can, you make a, can you make a thwarp sound with your mouth? <laughs> yes. I'll try. All right. In Bless you. three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you very much for that redemption. Yes. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of the world that you guys are living in. Uh, heroes are very uh, uh, very uh, popular here. There are a lot of people have powers. It is, um, I would say, probably like a 50-50 split where whether people have powers or they don't. Most people are mundane in their uh, abilities. Like, they are very low-key, uh, low uh, expectations as far as, like, what they can do. They're not meant for hero work, but... You guys are. Uh, there are some very popular superheroes. Uh, the most popular is uh, EMP, which is a group of siblings. Uh, they are, uh, as they say in My Hero, the number one heroes. Uh, they uh, work together uh, as a group. Uh, the The female sister is known as the Tempest, and the male uh, sibling is known as the Conductor. Uh, he can harness energy, uh, electricity from around him, and he can either channel it within himself or channel it into his sister. And uh, because they've been training for many years, he can do this without uh, killing her. And uh, she gets powered up by this and has like sort of a magnetic uh, pulse to her. Uh, he is known as the calm before the storm, and she is simply known as the storm. So um, that's sort of the main tier uh, heroes. There's a, a lot of other ones that I've come up with, but um, for now, that is sort of the uh, level that's like the high tier level. You guys are going to be going to a uh, hero academy. You've been there for four years. You are in your fourth year. You're going to be starting a new school year. Um, this game will kind of take place like you're going to be doing a lot of hero work, uh, but you will have a lot of downtime like in classes and uh, sort of... Uh, getting that uh like teen social element to it so it won't necessarily always be out fighting crime sometimes it's fighting uh the demons within yourself aka jealousy or romances or you know all that all that fun stuff that happened in high school uh bullies <laughs> But it's going to be fun, and I'm excited for it. Um, the way that uh, this game works is like Monster of the Week, where we will be setting up uh, relationships and um, and uh, connections between you guys. Um, and so let's let's get started with that sort of uh, situation. So, um, Savannah, you have picked the bull, um, yes. which we, we all have the handouts. Uh, it's pinned in the Discord if you want to look at the... The character sheets and all that but um oh, sorry for the players not for the viewers <laughs> sorry it's chill but uh so what we are going to be doing is you um 
you have moves, you have your backstory. Have you picked your moves yet? Yes, I have. Okay. What did you pick? Uh, for my moves, let me pull up my character sheet. Um, so I picked, I did also fill out some of my backstory. Perfect. Uh, which we can get into shortly because I feel like it will be important for relationships. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my moves, I picked in a china shop. Uh, <laughs> pull in a china shop, uh, which is when you directly engage a threat, you can cause, essentially you can cause collateral damage to uh, pick extra options for for what happens um mm-hmm. even if you roll bad um i also picked physics what physics <laughs> uh which is uh when you unleash your powers to barrel through an insurmountable barrier <laughs> my zoom yes. just had a complete meltdown <laughs> it's like nah when you unleash your powers to barrel through an insurmountable barrier uh you're all danger instead of freak Perfect. So um, um, very dangerous and don't account for physics most of the time. Yes. Um, which I love. Uh, so you said you have gone through some of your background information? Yeah. All right. You want to go get into that? Sure. Uh, right. So yeah, most of, most of the, uh, the way the bull sort of lays out is uh, that they didn't initially have powers, um, but that something changed them and uh sort of push them into having powers um i haven't done all of the backstory questions um but the who changed you and the question of like why do you try to be a hero and everything i've sort of answered so um my i guess i should name her at this point um so my character's name is sophia menea um should we talk about should we do hero names? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, great. So uh, her name is Sophia Menea. Um, her hero name is Nemia, uh, after the Nemean lion uh, of, of Greek mythology fame with its uh, wonderful strength and wonderful golden fur. And she's blonde and strong. So she didn't think about it too hard. <laughs> but she thought about it hard enough. Uh, so Sophia, um, her, her parents are both heroes and they uh, very much wanted her to be a hero. Um, so my who changed you comes from uh, the fact that Sophia early on, even with two hero parents did not manifest powers uh, as soon as her parents would have liked. So she went through some medical procedures um and some things which she consented to which i want to be very clear like as as sort of an early teen and everything like still did not have powers but made the decision to consent to and everything um so went through a couple of procedures that essentially caused her to snap into her powers and made them manifest um and hers manifested as cat so she's uh she's essentially lion themed she grew cat ears she's very strong very fast um amongst other things uh but the reason that she tries to be a hero is because her parents want her to um so she went to the school is going through all the training is in her senior year and everything because that's what her parents want her to do um but that's not what sophia wants to do um she's essentially using this as an opportunity to build her brand and uh using the training to her advantage and everything because Sophia is uh sort of in the in the vein the inspiration of uh Charlotte Flair is an amateur wrestler and wants to go pro in the WWE Mm mm-hmm so she wants to become a professional wrestler and is using this and her powers of being very strong as an opportunity to do so. I love that for you. That's amazing. And I'm excited to see it. Um, I like that backstory um, as far as giving me like, uh, do you have any names for your parents or anything yet? Absolutely not. <laughs> Thought I would ask. I don't want to imply. I will. 
I only came up with this concept like a few hours ago because I had a lightning bolt of inspiration hit my brain. I, um, I understand. I know we decided to play we decided to play masks last weekend. And I'm like, yeah, I can run masks. Then I'm like, when the fuck am I gonna have time to read the rules <laughs> this so, week? So all of this I came up with today. Um I will absolutely come up with those things. Yeah. And I will be, I I will have a report on your desk probably by Tuesday morning. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Promptness, gold stars, A+. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I did wear a, a, a wig and cat ears and crazy makeup because I was like, she could probably be a wrestler. <laughs> Yeah. This is fine. You look like a wrestler. You look like you could go on stage. This is just a test. So <laughs> if anyone has any notes, I'm taking them. I I have no notes. I'm absolutely obsessed with this look and I've told you. No notes. <laughs> no notes. No Perfect notes, as yeah. is. Perfect. Print. <laughs> but yeah, snapped into being a hero. Hero parents is just using this and probably mm-hmm. is on TikTok a lot to be like, I, I'm gonna get drafted in the wwe next year just you wait (laughs) i love i love it i love it i love it um yeah so uh tanya i know that you haven't had a a super long and rachel i know you guys haven't had a super long time to look at all of the information uh you you can see that um on the second page of your character sheet there is a backstory um it for all of you guys if you can type up like savannah put it in her um in her bio and info, uh, the backstory questions and all that. If you want to do something like that or put it in a document and get it to me at some point, that would be great. Um, and, but we're going to kind of go through some of those questions and see how you're feeling. Uh, you don't have to have all the answers today. Um, I know you guys are very active in the Discord, so uh, coming up with those things later is totally fine. We're just kind of getting a hold of everything now. Uh, we'll get sort of a background on your group as a group and as characters. So yeah. Uh, Rachel, have you had a chance to look or do you want me to look at or do you want me to talk to Alex first? Yeah, no, I'm I've got a a weird character concept. Let's do it. <laughs> um, So I was like thinking about some of my favorite superheroes and then I was like, well, I want to be a weird alien girl. So like, mm-hmm. how can I incorporate that? And I was like, what if Black Widow and we mix Planet 51 with that? Love it. So you what, I, what I came I up love with that. <laughs> was, she's from a planet. Um, Hi, yeah, Jupiter Jennings uh, is my character's name. Uh, she comes from a planet that, like I said, is obsessed with um, Earth pop culture. Mm-hmm. Um, but they also, they're very like, what's that planet in um, the second Guardians of the Galaxy? It's just like, they're all like designed. They're all perfect. They all think that they're better than oh, everybody else. Well, they still where Adam's from. from? Mm-hmm. Yes, they're like that. Um, but they, they take it upon themselves to go around the galaxy and like, you know, help regime changes. They send assassins to kill military leaders and all these things because they think that they know better than everybody else. Mm -hmm. But earth is like their fun reality show. So nobody goes there. Right. They like look at things and they watch it all and they're like, this is great. This is our show. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, she was about to go in her first, but being one of these assassins is like the highest honor. Mm-hmm. All three of her older siblings are in these squads that go and she's about to go on her first solo mission and the transporter glitched and she ended up on Earth. So it's like if Black Widow never actually became an assassin, even with all of the training and ended up somewhere like very Alice in Wonderland, like, oh, wait, where, where am I? Hold on a minute. She's never actually became an assassin, but has all the training. Awesome. So yeah. how long have you been on Earth? Um, probably since like in earth years, you know, probably four years or so. Right. Like right okay. before we'll say right before freshman year, probably okay. started school with everybody else. All right. Um, and, uh, like you, if you don't know this, it's fine, but like, uh, how were you, were you found by a government agency and told to like be, you have to like go train yourself or did you decide to enroll yourself? Like nobody noticed you and you're like, I'm just going to go to this school now. <laughs> well, yeah. So she shapeshifts. That's one mm-hmm. of her powers. That's mm-hmm. the the main one that I chose. Um, and so she was like looking around and she was like, huh, those are people that like kind of look like they're the same age as me. Where are they going? So yeah. she's just like one, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna yes. follow these people, you know, like where yeah. are they going, you know? But she probably knows like high schools and that kind of stuff. She was like, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna find a high school. That seems like a fun thing to do. I've watched mm-hmm. 
vampire diaries. All right, let's go, you know, or something, you know? Like, <laughs> wait, okay, wait. If that's where you got all your information from, yes. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah that's what she's broody like. Broody teenagers. She's like brooding teen shows. Yes. Like One Tree Hill, like that's her shit, you know? Like, oh my God. Just obsessed with like CW shows. Yes. And just thinks that like this is going to be hilarious. And so she's like, I'm going to, I'm going, I'm here. I'm going to high school. They can't get me back. It's broken. So like, we're going to ride this out, you know? (laughs) So, uh, and then the other power that I chose was the one where you, uh, you like smell really good, like the pheromone one, but I wanted to be like Felix Felicis in Harry Potter where I smell different to everybody. Oh, I love that. So everybody gets to choose what I smell like to them. <laughs> <laughs> is it like the best thing that they can smell or is yeah, it like, it's, like, okay. like they're, it's just, it's like the, whatever, like the most attractive scent, it's like pheromones or whatever. So yes. I want it to smell like something different to everybody. And I love that. I think that'd be a really fun thing for, for us. Yeah. So, Does anyone yeah. know that you're an alien? Does anyone on this team know you're an alien? Yeah. I think, okay. I think everybody kind of knows. Yeah. I think it's um, just like a common thing yeah and i should note that aliens are not like unheard of on this planet yeah, yeah it's more like a dc like um manhunter martian like those sort of everyone yeah. knows that there are aliens it's not like people are coming all the time but um if if an alien shows up it's like are you hostile no okay cool like <laughs> all right cool yeah, yeah yeah um okay can i go to high school yeah can I? i'm gonna go do that <laughs> um okay is there any like are there any quirks that you have that are uh, that you just can't get rid of as far as like uh, from your planet to this planet? Like um, that superiority, are you kind of like you don't feel like you're above everyone, but you like, oh, no, obviously, I, like I'm the best. Yeah, no, I think it's just because it's one of those things like one of those the idea of not being good at something or not being the best at something is absolutely like her fatal flaw. Like she's just, she's used to being around all these people that are just the best. Right. And they're always told that they're the best. And she made it to like, you know, the highest honor being sent on yeah. your solo mission yeah. to go kill somebody, you know, <laughs> and then like you tripped at the finish line. <laughs> yeah. and you're like, oh, and then, well. uh, I'm on earth now. And it's yeah. like, wait, Okay, so yeah, I'm thinking like very like the hubris is going to be mm-hmm. strong with this. Yeah, one. <laughs> so you still have contact with your planet, right? Yes, but you yep. will not. You, like one of the so one of the things of uh hero of masks is that um you have your uh, moan of truth which mm-hmm. we'll get into like way later. Um, but for the outsider, I know this because I played the outsider is that your your species comes to the planet. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. that's good. Uh, the unlocking your moment of truth will be easier because <laughs> yep. my, my character did not know where her planet was. Oh no. Yeah. I know where mine is. They sent me by mistake, but good, I'm here good, now good. and I don't want to go. <laughs> All right. Perfect. I love it. I'm here yep. for it. Um, something to think about for you, like, uh, what are your favorite things about earth? Like what specifically do you like, I like, what can't you live without like pumpkin spice is a thing and you're like I can't fuck it I if I go anywhere else I know I can't get this like so think about those sort of things think about um uh think about uh how how often you communicate with your people if it's like a daily thing or if it's like you just check in every once in a while all that cool stuff cool um awesome Tanya you are next up yeah do you need do you want me to do you need a moment or do you want me to you good no I think I've got uh so some basics fleshed out. Perfect. So my character's name is Nancy McGee. And I don't know like what happened with her parents, but she basically grew up in the old folks home with her grandpa. Um, and I haven't named him yet. That's and fine. so as far as the doomed goes, they have a nemesis. Mm-hmm. And do I tell you what that is? Can I tell you? You can tell is? me who that is. Yeah. Do you want it to do you want it to be a like a villain or is it gonna be a Who's it? Who's um, it? Okay. Her nemesis is Ed McMahon. He's still alive in this universe. Okay. Because one time he came to the home and uh, tried to give a check to grandpa and he got all excited. And then at some point he like took it away because he didn't qualify for whatever reason. They didn't do their homework. So, oh my God. And so uh, Nancy views Ed McMahon as an evil capitalist. And yeah. everything that's wrong with America. <laughs> fuck Ed McMahon. Yeah, fuck Ed McMahon. And um, so 
the way Nancy manifests her powers, like her, her superhero look is kind mm-hmm. of, <laughs> I told all this to you guys earlier, but she, when she dresses up, her name is the Devereaux and she personifies like what her grandpa viewed uh, an old sexy woman to be. Uh huh. So she's more like gray haired, slutty lipstick on the teeth. And it's all, it's, it's all crazy. And yeah, she's the Devereaux. Okay. Um, Does she look like Jamie Lee Curtis is my question. Oh, I don't hate that. No, right. Uh, yeah. Maybe <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis now. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, she is an attractive younger. older lady. I'll tell you what. Yeah, but um, Nancy doesn't pull off a Jamie Lee Curtis. Like, no. she shoots for it, but <laughs> doesn't quite get there, <laughs> which you'll see once my wigs come in. Um, Perfect. So my doom, oh, my mm-hmm. abilities I chose mm-hmm. um, were yeah, tele- telekinesis and memory mm-hmm. manipulation. Ooh. Um, as far as like how the powers came about, I haven't flushed that out, but I'm sure. thinking like while in the old folks home, uh, Nancy kind of talking to the old people and they would tell a story and she would be like, are you sure you really caught a fish that one time? Are yeah. you sure it wasn't a shark? Yeah. Kind of learned through that messing with all these oh. old people that like she could do that. Oh, I love that. Did you help yeah. them like regain some of their memories in that way? Um, or did okay. you take them? <laughs> So (laughs) you don't have to decide right now. I know she's in my head. She's kind of an asshole and arrogant, like doesn't realize how her actions affect other people. Yeah. Like she doesn't want to do anything to outright hurt anybody, Mm -hmm. but she does by accident sometimes, but it doesn't really mean to. Yeah. Ooh. So the rate of dementia went up a little bit while she was there. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. (laughs) Um, I, I like that. And then under doom, it says you're doomed. Your powers may be killing you, or maybe you're hunted ruthlessly, or maybe you embody an apocalypse. But one Mm -hmm. way or another, your future is grim. What brings your doom closer? So this is my question for you. Okay. One of the things I wanted to choose that's an option are Mm -hmm. injuring innocence. Okay. I don't want to be an all out evil character, but I was saying earlier, instead of like just hurting people for how like I know I have to do this but I don't really want to so okay. I'll like trip someone on the sidewalk and be like oh my god I'm so sorry or like elbow somebody mm-hmm. really hard like oh my gosh yeah. I did not mean to do that so uh, as far as your doom, doom track goes uh you only have five clicks to it uh so uh, Alex you have played the doom before right I've run the doom and savvy's one oh, played it savvy before. played the doom uh so uh, from my understanding is you you mark the five and then you mark another another of the top track. Yeah, you get a doom okay. sign and so you get a doom sign. Okay. The doomed is weird in that it powers up. Like the closer you get to your doom, the more powerful you get. Yeah. But also your character is gonna literally face die. Their doom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's yeah. every five you mark another sign and then you continue to like every time you fill the track, you you mark another thing until your doom comes. Okay, yes. so I start with one, and then there's four more after that. So I was going to pick, um, like I said, Injuring Innocence, mm-hmm. which, okay, so I don't necessarily want my Doom track to happen. It's kind of a weird that. just to position because you do, because that's how you want to get more powerful. You just don't want it to happen all the time, because then you, okay. you're going to die faster. Yeah. Because if the last, like, if you mark it enough times, like, every time it fills, you mark a doom sign. Mm-hmm. And once you've marked all of the doom signs, the last doom sign is your doom arrives, confronted, and perish. Okay. So, so that's you will die. Injuring innocence, I feel like, is a good one because no one yeah. wants to. But exactly. if I need to, I can in a helpful exactly. way. Yeah. So I, I think that's a good idea because it is something you can control. I think injuring innocence is going to be a little bit more than tripping someone on the sidewalk. Maybe like, yeah. I would say like punching someone in the face, okay. like that sort of thing, or like collateral damage like that right. is like pinching someone would not count, but like slugging them, you know, like hitting them in the groin might. Accidentally okay. causing a sense? car accident. Yeah. They forgot where they were for a second. What are you going to do? You know? <laughs> um, so I'm thinking I'll do that one and maybe facing danger alone, which is Ooh, okay. 
kind of a terrible idea for me because like I said, I'm ignorant and reckless. I feel like that's so, perfect. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what so, I'm going to go with there. Um, for the doomed, I'm going to do my best to keep track of that. But, uh, if you do something where you're like, Hey, this is definitely something that's on my doom track and I don't notice it. Tell me okay. and we'll mark. Okay. Cute. And then I have a doom sign that I chose at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Um, and the one I picked was dark visions. Yes. So mark your doom track to have a vision about the situation at hand after the mm -hmm. vision, ask the GM a question. They will answer it honestly. I love visions. This spooky oh, so is one mark. of my. I have to yeah. mark after I do. That. Yeah, so it's like a, it's like a. I need to know something about what's going on now, so I'm gonna like take something away from myself to do it. Oh, okay, this is tricky. Oh, uh, indoor. <laughs> Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate you, my big brother. Uh, indoor is is the uh, inspiration for the conductor. <laughs> He and I came through and created these characters, uh, the conductor and uh, the tempest. Uh, those are our characters. We're siblings. It's amazing. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. So Tanya, again, if you like look at this and you're like, "Hey, this is a little much for me," we can always retcon. You can do something else. That's okay. fine. But I think I think this will work really well for you. Um, as far as like, yeah. it's it's just like a reminder of like you can do this it is gonna have a consequence <laughs> yeah but it's not that bad it's not like you get hurt every time you do it you have five like doom tracks before you have to mark the next one right. you have you know so like really realistically you have what 5 10 15 20 you can mark your doom track 20 times before you have to worry about dying basically okay cool no just and talking not... about this now i understand it a lot more so good good i'm glad so, um, yeah, and the last up is Alex. Let's talk yes. about your character. Yeah, so I will be playing Billy Burns, uh, who Love I it. believe the hero name I'm going with is Rune. Rune. Uh, to go along Ruin? with this magic. Rune, oh, R-U-N-E. <laughs> um, what, what's, what's there to say, I guess? Backstory stuff. So I already said, you know, it's a sorcery kind of thing mm -hmm. and i'm trying to i mentioned you know he's kind of you know brash and arrogant when he's in hero mode and you know sweet being in civilian mode mm -hmm. i was kind of thinking that maybe the actual use of his powers mm -hmm. causes him to be like that so sort of kind of a jekyll and hyde thing Ooh, okay um and that because a lot of the flavor of the nova is like yeah, I'm basically a demigod, like, I can warp mm. reality, and so, like, the more he uses his powers, the more that kind of attitude sticks around, even when he's yeah. not actively using them. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, but, did you uh, learn your sorcery from someone, or from a group, or is it something that just, like, came naturally to you? So, I think... So the some of the backstory questions uh, yeah. kind of get at this. So when when did you first use your powers? I think he learned it when it's like, you know, maybe he and his friends all went to go see Doctor Strange or something and they were all yeah. done, oh no, if we do circles and stuff. And he was just thinking so hard about it that and then all of a sudden, like, oh shit, there's glowing stuff in the air in front of him. Um, and so was messing around with that. Obviously, I had no idea what he was doing. Uh one of the questions is who was the first person you accidentally hurt with your powers? Um, not 100% sure exactly, but I think it's, unless you want more NPCs tied to me, I think it's going to be the same person as who outside the team helps you control your powers. Oh, so I, I like that. Maybe someone, someone else, you know, who is like observing magical powers is mm -hmm. like, oh, we've got a live one, came to check yeah. it out, got caught yeah. in, you know, the explosions, like, okay. We need to get this under control. Yes, yes. I wrote, went to see a supreme sorcerer and started fucking around and found out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, perfect. So uh, do you have an idea of who you want to have train you or do we want to come up with that? We can figure it out later. And okay. the same one is like, there is someone who does that. Yeah. I didn't get that far because, you know. Sure. Um, it's cute. Yeah. And this person yeah. coming up with names is tricky. Um, mm -hmm. And then just going to briefly run through why do you continue to use your powers because of the potential to do good with them, though he recognizes yeah. the inherent danger in using them. 
And why do you care about the team? There are reasons I'm going to have to, you know, formulate it to yeah. match, like the people actually here. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I think it's, you know, generally, you know, wants to be helpful. And it's, I mean, it's yeah. the, with great powers comes great responsibility mindset. I like that. Yeah. And then in terms of powers, powers. Mm -hmm. So sorcery and then the Nova is based on these different burns, which are mm -hmm. the abilities you do. You charge up your powers and then you can do stuff. Um, and even though I was saying, you know, he's going to be, you know, Baka going brash and aggressive, I was actually mm -hmm. picking most of the support ones to start yeah. out with. So there's, um, I get to start with four and I, haven't done the math i might be able to get all of them eventually but so some of the ones i was thinking is there's one for shielding people uh there's one for moving which i think would be basically creating portals uh, and oh, getting cool. around that yeah, way yeah yeah um i'm trying to be mindful of too much overlap but another one i was thinking of was an elemental awareness which is the same kind of thing as the dark visions is like i get to ask you a question and you yeah. answer it for me yeah, uh, yeah. And then there's, you know, reality storm where I just blow shit up. With yeah. Powers. Hell yeah. Collateral damage? Who's she? We don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is specifically a thing of like, if I don't want to cause collateral damage, I have to uh -huh. spend extra charges. Exactly. I like that. I, I the I, this is a playbook that I've wanted to like play and look at. I to it's like one of those that's like a little extra little spice, like the doomed, where you have to like pay attention to different things. So, um, yeah, cool. All right, I like that. Everyone's got like a little uh, bit of a feel for everyone's character, what they can do. Um, I think so. We have everyone has um. Uh, if you look at your playbook, the actual sheet from the uh, the the PDF that has your playbook on it, everyone has um, relationships. Um, so, do you think? Do you guys want to go through and talk about your like actual relationships first? Like, what you guys have known each other for uh, the past three years or so? I, I assume has everyone gone to this school for the full? four years yeah okay um so the past last year you guys were in the same uh observe and report group together and now you're being moved to the uh the actual hero work sort of stuff um uh, do you want to talk about like trying to determine a little bit of your um dynamic in the group first or do we want to just go in and uh everyone go through their um relationships and, and form it that way how are we feeling I, I think it might be easier to go through the relationships and, and see where that goes. Is that cool? I'm up for either. Okay. I can All right. it up. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what we're here for. Just that's make shit at. up. <laughs> All right. So, Savannah, why don't you go in and... Um, Again, uh, as we did in Monster of the Week, uh, for those of you who haven't played, if you feel strongly about something that somebody else has, you you know just say something. Um, and uh, if the you know you as a player are like, I know that this one is going to this person, you can discuss it, talk about it. Let's let's figure out what your dynamic is as a group. So go ahead, Savannah, talk about your relationships. Right, so we're doing relationships. Yeah, we've picked a very strong start. So. Um... These will affect me mechanically um, because the bull has a love and a rival. Um, so I have two. Um, they are blank is your love. You've opened up to them about the worst parts of you. And blank is your rival. They've tried to control you at a crucial moment. And in this, love doesn't necessarily mean romantic love. But knowing no. this group, it might. So, <laughs> knowing Savannah, so, yeah. it probably will. <laughs> it's disregarding the first bit. <laughs> it's you've opened up to them about the worst parts of you, and then they've tried to control you at a crucial moment. Um, I mean, do you have any strong feelings? I would like to know if anyone else has strong feelings. So I was kind of thinking about this because the Nova also kind of has some things about like, so the, we also all have team moves for triumphant celebrations and vulnerabilities. Yeah. 
my triumphant celebration is basically like, you know, ask them if there's any tear in their eyes when they look at you. And so it's a, like you sharing about your worst part to me and being like, I could, you know, destroy reality if I lose control. So I definitely understand, you know, having some, you know, inner some demons and stuff. Yeah. But that tracks. Yeah. Others have other thoughts. I only have like the two relationship questions, and I already mm -hmm. know the answers to them because I think they're going to be funny. Right. So. <laughs> I think I think that tracks though because I think mm -hmm. like uh, I think if if Sophia was going to go to anybody about like man, I've destroyed some shit, it would probably be the one who can like blow things up with their brain <laughs> so okay i'll make billy my love for now it's a it's a changeable trait that's cool so i love add... it really? so i need a rival a rival uh, who which would is, try and control you they've tried to control you at a crucial moment um, so this is what you're essentially dealing with is a bull in a china shop. Uh, I say pulling from from a move that I have, but yeah, uh -huh. she's she's very like very rash, very mm -hmm. very sort of like. I mean, my two my two main stats are danger and superior, <laughs> so are like sort of provoking people and directly mm -hmm. engaging and sort of running in um and causing yeah more chaos uh than than most people would like i have two pitches for this and it's not going to make this answer any easier one great tanya's, i love it tanya's character can manipulate minds so that is something that could have happened during one of these uh, events but she's also very reckless herself so either maybe she wanted attention or like you know like she's like i want to do this thing uh, and decided to change it or that is one hundred percent my pitch too. By exactly. the way, <laughs> but also Rachel's character is an observed person. Like she is always like she has been trained to watch and like. So if there was a point where uh, she was like, "Hey, I don't think that we should be jumping into this. I don't think that we should be going in there." That's also a possibility. But I think Tanya fits better personally. Yeah, I think well, Tanya's is better personally, but yeah. I don't know. And with my relationships. Um, one of them is you'd love to kiss blank before your doom comes. And since Nancy is from an old folks home that's filled with crazy cat ladies, like she finds oh. Sophia to be like oh. very attractive and like kind of like a high school, like I like you, so I'm going to punch you sort of thing. Yes. So I think like I'd, your cat themed, I like you, but like, why are you being so stupid right now? <laughs> I want to kiss you and I can't kiss you if you die, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to shove you because I like you. I actually love that. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll say, so my, my rival is Nancy. <laughs> but only because she wants to kiss me so bad. I love that. Also, Nancy's one of my favorite names ever, by the way. So. <laughs> So. I just tried. I was looking in the superhero name generator, and I picked names from the 1950s. Nice, I was like Nancy. Hell yeah, Nancy. <gasps> Pug. Okay, sorry. Nice. Uh, I have to pick like a oh. whole. I have to pick like a whole role and everything for the bull's mm -hmm. heart. <sighs> oh yes, I have to do some thinking. Hell yeah, yeah. I get. All right. I get plus one to roles that impress my love or frustrate my rival. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. That'll so be funny when it comes I'm up. Gonna frustrate the well. hell out of you. I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> this is going right. to be a fun dynamic. I love it so much. All right, Rachel, let's go through and see your uh your 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 uh histories, your so, relationships. <laughs> I already answered these in my head before we even Less. knew anything about the characters earlier and then we were talking about the characters earlier and I was like the answers are the same I don't know if I just like knew clairvoyantly what was going to happen but my questions are you've been learning about earth by spending time with blank and it has to be Nancy and the old folks home because I think that's so funny because I'm gonna be like wait 
but that doesn't track with what like, I've learned from all these teen dramas that I'm obsessed with. But like, okay, Ad McMahon's Eve. Okay, sure. All right. Like, <laughs> and I get names wrong of stuff. Like yeah. Justice Beaver. He's a yeah. popular singer boy. <laughs> yeah, Tanya, please so, do that this whole time. I'm so gonna. Funny. Oh my god. I yeah. cannot wait for that to happen. I think it's gonna. Yeah. Like, and I'm just. She's gonna be gullible. You know what I mean? Like, not like just influence. Everybody influences her because she's like, okay, yeah, sure. Earth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I believe everything Nancy tells me, Love even it. if it's dead fucking wrong. Perfect. <laughs> and then the other question is, uh, you have a crush on someone, but you keep it under wraps and I'm going to make it Sophia because that adds a very strange, everybody loves somebody dynamic, but two of us have a crush on the same person now. <laughs> Alex, does yours have a, a a crush too? I don't think so. Um, okay. No, 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 mine is okay. none of mine are explicitly a crush. I yeah. love this like rectangular mm-hmm. phenomenon that's going on. Love it. Cool. All right. Is everyone applicable to that? Is that does that work? Amenable is the word I was looking for. Okay. Okie yeah. dokie. Oh, <gasps> Ted. 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 Give me those good, good pug snuffles. <laughs> is it his birthday? It's, oh, no. it's from his birthday, but his birthday's in August. Ted, can I get Ted, some snuffles, on. please? Come on, Ted. What's my fit? You smell that? Look. This is the one time he's ever been completely silent. <laughs> like, wait, what? Is this the right dog? Did you take what? the wrong one? <laughs> All right, sorry, Tanya. Let's go over your uh, stuff now. We're going back. Relationships for uh, the doomed. So uh, I thought, too, about Jupiter, because since we talk so much about pop, oh my God, pop culture, uh, I told Jupiter about all my doom and the danger I'm in. And then... I'd love to kiss Sophia. I'm here for this. I'm so here for this. All right. Well, that's easy peasy. Alex, let's let's go into the Nova. All right. So everyone's over there with their, you know, love triangle. Love triangle. You're like, I'm a, I'm a demigod. I'm just trying to live. Yep. So I've got. Just trying to blow anything up. (laughs) Yeah. So I've got you hang out all the time with blank to blow off steam. Okay. And then you once hurt blank when you lost control of your powers. Ooh. So I'm thinking I kind of like the idea and the trope of Billy is completely oblivious to whatever kind of love Sophia has for him. And it's just like, you know, we can go like she's almost indestructible. So it's fine for us to go and mess around and, you know, blow off steam. Phrasing. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, Billy, no, it's totally fine if we don't fall around. It's fine. <laughs> oh you meant fight yeah no that's cool oh <laughs> oh listen billy is oh. too too precious he is a soft cinnamon roll he does not he is not aware can um, we just can we just say that alex oh. in in his character sheet and the bio and info just put mickey from Fantasia. <laughs> so that's that's what I'm thinking of for the the outfit to start is because he's just like, you know, I'm just so excited to be here and use my magic power. So he's got like a floppy wizard hat and you know a robe that is like enough so that it's not gonna trip him up or anything, but is mm-hmm. you know trying, you know, he's just so excited to be here and then we'll go full on, you know, when the powers come into play. It's yeah, oh it, what? it straightens up immediately when he's yeah. in go mode. <laughs> who has the phrasing now i made a mistake okay uh, are we all 18 <laughs> yes well it depends you could be 17 or 18 depends is what you want to do okay yes everyone's 18 <laughs> but i was actually thinking like maybe the robe is almost like a mood ring and that it changes colors based ooh, on how he's feeling ooh. okay I like that. Let's and, like, get that's part of his costume. Girls to all wear mood rings. 
I mean, Let's. the Nova is all about having conditions and having those emotional states. So, and anyway, uh, and then you once hurt blank when you lost control of your powers. Hmm. Ooh. My initial thought was Jupiter, and it's like, let me just open a portal back to your home planet. That's totally something I can do. And then it's like, oh, wait, no, that, maybe that was after they, you know, he'd been using a lot of his powers already. And it's like, I could totally do this. And then it, you know, maybe opened up into the middle of space and nearly pulled her into, you know, uh, into, you know, the void of space. I was just chilling there. <laughs> oh, thanks. I mean, I think he closed it before that happened, and he's, you know, he has never stopped apologizing for it since. Yeah, I like that. I was like, oh, really? Okay, sure, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nope. <laughs> all right, I love it. All right, well, we went through all of our backstories. Uh, does anyone have any questions at this point? We're going to take a quick break. Um, and use the facilities, and then we're going to come back and talk about world building a little bit. Uh, I. I didn't know that we were going to go this long, but I am here for Matt and or guys. Let's give Indoor a Megathorpe for those wonderful gifted subs because we love you so much. Uh, we're going to come back uh, in a minute, but first we're going to do a Megathorpe in three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you so much and i can't wait to see you tomorrow but anyways we're gonna be right back uh we're gonna take a quick bio break and then we're gonna come back and talk about the world a little bit uh probably not too much longer but uh i think it's a good point for all of us to uh step away for just a moment so we'll be back in five to ten just make sure that you relax your shoulders unclench your jaw maybe do a little like neck roll out that feels good like do a little shoulder shimmy you know just make sure that you're taking care of yourself hydrate uh and we'll be right back thanks bye hello everybody and welcome back i hope you all had a good break i hope you're all relaxing and uh having a good day having a good night for us uh we went through our character creation uh everyone has a good handle on who they're playing and what they need to do for the future to sort of like get back get more details into these characters i'm excited i'm super hyped for these this group and all that um i think actually what a good idea a good idea for us to do would be go through just real quick the basic moves and how they're going to be used um in this game uh on your character sheets in roll 20 you'll see that you have your labels um these are going to be shifted at the end of each session most of the time um because at the end of session we will have uh three different things that you will be able to do um we'll kind of go over like uh well the end of session will be a specific thing uh for those in the stream it'll have this cute little to be continued on the top uh, and that's when you know we're doing our end of session stuff but for now um it'll be uh did you grow closer to the team did you grow further away from the team or did you grow into your own image as a hero um which <laughs> Depending on what you pick, you'll be able to shift labels for other people, for yourself, that sort of thing. But for now, uh, you have danger, which is uh, what you will use in directly engaging a threat. Uh, unleash your powers uh, is freak, which is uh, like specifically using your powers for certain things. It won't be used as much as you think because yes, you have superpowers and yes, you'll be using them, but uh, usually another label will be uh, applicable for it. Uh, savior, uh, which will allow you to, to defend uh, either other players or NPCs or uh, the public. Uh, uh, superior, which will uh, allow you to assess the situation or provoke someone. Um, those are pretty... Uh, easy uh mundane which is piercing the mask which will allow you to sort of see beyond what's uh right in front of you uh that can either be like determining how a person is feeling or like if you look into a villain and see like what you know like what what are they actually after what are they what do they want what do they need here that sort of thing or comfort and support your allies um there are also conditions for this game um, which will you will mark instead of like getting hurt, um, afraid, 
Uh, they all have negative effects, negative effects to your labels, depending on what is picked. Sometimes you will pick it. Sometimes I will pick it. It just depends on the situation um, because I uh, might, you might be facing a foe and you try to fight them and you can't hit them, even though you're putting all your force into it then you might become afraid and I'll just let you know, hey, you're afraid. Um, there's also angry, guilty, hopeless, and insecure. Um, there are uh, certain things that you could do to uh, clear these conditions, which will be done uh, after, or actually you could probably do it during a combat, depending on what it is. Uh, like if you want to clear your uh, afraid condition, running from something difficult is uh, you could run away from the fight or you could have something in your personal life that you just don't want to confront and you get out of that situation. <laughs> so um, as we play through the game, it'll become more clear what you need to do for those certain things. Um, another important thing about this is influence. Um, all adults have influence over you. Uh, you can choose to uh, reject that influence. If somebody's telling you to do something and you're like, nah, I don't want to do that, uh, there is a role for that. Uh, we'll get into that later. But um, I think as the outsider, you have chose to have everyone have influence over you, correct? Uh, right. You can all, yeah, you can also give influence to someone uh, as much as you want or take it away. So that's on you guys as players. Uh, I can, I, I, there's, I don't think there's very many situations where I, where I will do that. Um, but uh, again, end of session stuff might influence your influence influence your influence uh <laughs> but if you are if you have influence over someone uh you can add one to any role that targets those people so if you're trying to pierce the mask on uh let's say alex's character and you want to uh and you have influence over them you can add plus one to that does that make sense pretty easy stuff like i said it's 2d6 um because we're using roll 20 you can just click that little dice button next to it and it'll roll stuff which is uh very nice so um yeah uh there's also the team pool which will uh come into effect when you are in uh fights you will always have one in the pool when you start a session uh it just depends on uh different situations uh, like if the leader has influence over everyone, basically when you get into a fight, when you get into a situation uh, where you are uh, against someone else, uh, you'll decide who the leader is and if they have influence over everyone or if you trust them, that sort of thing. Um, if you're ill-prepared or off balance, I will take away from the pool. The pool is like a plus one that you can use towards someone else's role. Um, I don't think you can use it towards your own role, right? You can't give yourself plus one with the team pool? Okay. No, there is a way to use team selfishly, but I think it lets you shift your labels, mm -hmm. not add anything to a role. All right, cool. So yeah, um, I will uh, we'll have a sheet up there so that you guys can keep track of team pool. I'll probably have someone... Um, uh, I'll have someone... Um, uh, check that at the beginning of each battle. Someone will be in charge of that. Um, but yeah, so that is good. Uh, let's get into the um, the world and the world building. So uh, you guys all go to uh, the Golden Duke uh, Academy, which is a, uh, a prep school for uh, hero work. Uh, after this, you will be going either you can go to like a sort of a college situation where you continue your training or you can go into like a hero studies program uh, where you can um, figure out what uh, you want to do that way. Uh, you can work under a hero and uh, train with them, sort of like an internship situation. But for now, you are uh, working on your um, your hero licenses, your your ability to practice heroing in the field. You have sort of your uh, again my hero stuff, your provisional license <laughs> uh, right now, um, and you will be able to go out and uh, actually engage in threats out in the field. Um, you won't necessarily be like sticking to around town uh golden duke uh, academy uh the golden duke is a very well-known superhero in this multiverse uh, or in this universe and in the multiverse uh they are sort of a um blonde 
buff, like super, like like uh, Superman. If Superman was a little dumb and uh, blonde, uh, basically. So um, you guys know him. Uh, you would know him. You know he's not on planet on this multiverse anymore, or on this specific version of Earth. Um, yeah. So you guys are able to uh, go out. You'll you'll be assigned a watcher, which you will be do uh, be, be doing in the first uh, episode. You'll have your homeroom teacher and then other teachers along the way. You know, of course, your principal, uh, <laughs> Johnny Vibes, um, and he is uh, someone you've met before, but uh, not someone that you have like see all the time. He's not like he's got a big school to run. Um, you'll have hero training courses uh, throughout this semester where you will uh, interact with major heroes in the universe. Um, and uh, I'll let you know as the GM who is like, you have no idea who this person is, or like, this is a very prominent hero. Uh, so uh, you can react accordingly to seeing them. Um, but we need to figure out some of the major cities which I haven't done yet. So um, let's go through and start talking about them. So uh, the, the the Golden Duke Academy is in sort of the middle of the country. It's um, like Connecticut. Uh, not that Connecticut is in the middle of the country, but a uh, very like lush countryside, wide open fields. Um, you know, there's not a lot of like big cities around, but it's a perfect spot for training grounds and for they have a lot of different facilities as far as where you can train um, to harness your powers and that sort of thing. Um, but there are big cities. Um, let's I know. <laughs> I mean, do we want to go through a name generator? Does anyone have a really good name for a big city? I know that uh, in our masks game on Tuesday, we have well, no, what's uh, it's Port Harbor. And then we've also used like Lumas City, <laughs> which was one of my favorites that we used in our other mask game. Um, but does anyone have any ideas as far as like big city names? Anything? Marposa? What is that from your game, Saucefire? Um, if not, we can skip this and I can figure out names later too. Um, but I think there's like a big East Coast city, a big West Coast city, uh, probably one like Middle America in the North. Not that this is America, but it is very like, that's what I'm basing it off of because that's what I know. Um, so if there's nothing, then we can kind of move on and talk about you guys and your dynamic as far as like your past missions and stuff. Uh, so let's go to, yeah, you guys have worked together for a year. Um, you uh, work well together and that's why I've decided to keep you, uh, in this situation in this, um, uh, area or this, this team, keep you together. Um, ba -ba -ba. okay. Uh, so let's talk about a past mission. Um, do you want me to give you a scenario or do you guys want to discuss like something you came across and had to confront? Like a super villain was doing something you were supposed to observe and report and you got in there. I think that's, that makes the most sense to me. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Okay. We just took it upon ourselves to like yeah looked around like they're not gonna get here in time are they <laughs> no okay all right i like that um so let's say you guys went up against someone who let's let's do well, lb i will say on the sheets there is the when our team first came together prompts that we all have Ooh, different that's right for. i yeah, I was going to say the same thing. So we haven't done when our team first came together. We also haven't right. done influence. So. Oh, right. oh, it's not. Sorry. On the on the outsider character sheet, it's like, yeah, it's just there. So yeah, yeah let's do that then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I just skipped over that and did relationships. So uh, when your team first came together, uh, Savannah, what is yours? Uh, we defeated a dangerous enemy. Who or what was it? Does anyone have any cool villains? 
So that's I was the, thinking the okay. big question to start mm-hmm. on. I was gonna say I was yeah. thinking like you know Pinky and the Brain they like never actually right end up <laughs> doing anything bad, but like we could give them a, a, a minor arc. We did stop them. Okay, though. okay. I don't know. Um, let's Pinky make them uh because. Not bad. Or not, yeah, not mice, but <laughs> well, the, in this world there are a lot of different, like the their powers, people's powers affect them in different ways. There are a lot of people who look different. Um, so having a uh, mouse-like humanoids mm-hmm. definitely could be a thing. Uh, exactly. So, yeah, a hyper intelligent uh, mouse person and their lackey sidekick, who is I'm gonna say the muscle. I mean. Pinky yeah. could have been the muscle. We don't know. Yeah. Uh, they were trying to... Let's say they were trying to steal something, if that works for everybody. Sure. Um, but they were making a show of it, because this was their big outing. Uh, this is like their one... Like, they've been planning a lot of heists, but this is the one time they're actually doing it. So they kind of busted in uh, and monologued and all that. <laughs> is that good for everyone? Does that work? Yeah, it doesn't have to be Pinky in the Brain. It was just the first villain that I thought of. I, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you de- you defeat. Is everyone cool with that? Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, then next up. Uh, well, I guess next on my thing is the Doomed. What's your uh first time we came? Our team came together. Um, sorry, I don't know if you hear Tina now. <gasps> Tina. We we paid a high cost for victory. What was it? <laughs> That's the rest of the stream. It's just it's just Tina in the microphone. All right, you guys you guys paid a high cost for victory. What was it? So oh. should it be in reference to the pinky in the brain situation? Yeah, yeah. So this okay. is all one scenario where you guys really came together as a team and fought something. You fought Pinky in the Brain, which will have a know. different name. Yeah. <laughs> no, that one's hard. Like, I feel like somebody got hurt. Like, somebody mm-hmm. innocent got hurt. Okay. I will help focus this because I know my question for this is we destroyed our surroundings in the fight. So it should be something Ooh. separate from that. Okay. 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 And uh, Rachel, what's yours? Just so we have all of them. Mine is, we didn't trust each other at first, but that changed how and why. Ooh, okay. So you guys came across a situation. These uh, bipedal uh, mouse-like people uh, started monologuing and telling you about how they're going to take over uh, the world by stealing something. And uh, you guys didn't work together well at the beginning. Uh, but what brought you together? What what moment? What um, speech? I'm going to say, and somebody throw something else out there if you think that this is, like, off. But since, like, I'm still not used to, like, working with a team, but I'm still getting used to it because I was, like, a solo act for, mm-hmm. you know, my whole training. I was like, well, nobody's going to get here in time. We have to do something about this. Like, we can't mm-hmm. just, like, let this continue. Like, we called, they're not coming. I know we're observing report, but like, we got, like, we got to do something. Mm-hmm. And it took me a lot of convincing to like, get them to like, be on, like, no, 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 we're supposed yeah. to, no, no, no. And I'm like, no, we have to do like, <laughs> yeah, I think like with the characters that we have right now, uh, I think Savvy's character, Tanya's character would very much be like, yeah, let's go. And like, yeah, go on their own to fight things. Would Alex, would your character sort of like bring everyone together? Um, or do, did, would someone else do that? Am I reading it wrong? I mean, I, I think certainly to start, Billy would have been the like, no, guys, we, we, we have to wait. We're just here to observe. We have to wait for, you know, the, the heroes to show up. And then it's like, oh, shit, we've got to be the heroes. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, well, if we're going to do this. Let's do this. And yeah. then like organized us as opposed to like being like three or four people like running off in separate directions. You're like, okay, this is what we do. And what if like the the bipedal mouse people maybe there's like a jail or something that they're trying to release and we accidentally end up destroying it and killing a couple of the inmates? Okay. And that 
or not killing, but maybe like yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe a paralyzing something. Maybe Ooh, not spinal. Someone death. who can ha- want revenge on us later. Yeah, and so that would be um, it. Fulfill mine like the high cost was really really hurting someone, mm-hmm. and then destroying a government building on top of it. Ooh, maybe yeah. for Alex's. I don't know. Did yeah, you guys? Go ahead. Just I think I can focus mine. So if it's we say that the villains were trying to maybe break someone out of prison, we stop them from getting their actual target, but we cause this collateral damage and perhaps in it. So you know, uh, mine is we destroy our surroundings in the fight. Where was it? Prison of some kind. What did we destroy? I think we destroyed some of the like high level containment systems, not the highest levels, but some of the ones yeah. that's like, oh, we let some of the. Uh, was this actually maybe this was a net loss in terms of like how bad the villains were because like yeah we caught these these ones but some other worse villains managed to get out not like no apocalypse level villains or anything but yeah maybe like since like i'll be said that they were there to like steal something maybe they were stealing something that was like in you know like in guardians of the galaxy where like the infinity stone is in that thing like in the prison but like none of nobody knew that it was an infinity stone, but like pinky in the brain knew that like yeah, something yeah, yeah. was there that's important. And they were trying to get it out of like the like holding area, like the inmate. I don't know what that's called. I, I don't, I, I've never been to prison. The, the, where they have their, like art, their effects, their effects. That's what it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Their effects. And it's like, something's really like important is in there. So we kept them from getting that, but we destroyed a part of the building. So like released some people. Yeah. Like, ah, damn. <laughs> well, they didn't get that very important artifact, but whoops, somebody's got to clean up our mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you guys got a hell of a talking to afterwards. <laughs> like, but um, we kept them from getting, the- no, okay. <laughs> no, you did. You did. And I'm sure that was taken into effect, but uh, yeah, no, Um, I think I like that idea. I like that. Um. The concept um how did you like what i mean the bull is very physical uh how how what is your guys fighting style like what's the what's the dynamic like uh bull goes in first what what is everyone else doing i assume i'm sorry savannah if you don't <laughs> i'm probably right on uh the bull's heels at a man mm-hmm. all right I imagine I'm like, um, more like the distraction, you know, like with the shape yeah. shifting and like the pheromones thing, like, mm-hmm. like kind of like, what's the, what's the Netflix show with like the adopted kids? Umbrella the Academy. Oh, Umbrella, Umbrella Academy. Academy. Yeah. Like the, I heard a rumor, like I'm yeah. like that person, you know what I mean? Where I'm just like, wait, what's that? What's going on over there? Like, why is there a giant pink elephant just like trampling through the street like what is that then, i like that yeah just something i'll, I'll be like the distraction person mm-hmm. and then alex you're more the support you said you were taking more of the uh support roles yeah, i've got some support stuff uh, i've also got big guns to call in but yeah three of my four burns currently are more about support and tactics all right i like that cool okay Anything else you guys, any other flavor you want to add to that? No? No. Cool. All right. Then let's go into influence. Is that thing, that's something we need, still need to do. Uh, Savannah, you want to start? Sure. Uh, mine is very easy um, because you're selective about who you let in. Um, give your love and rival influence over you. But that's it. Uh, so Billy and Nancy both have influence over me. And that's it. That's it. No one else. Nope. Again, these things will change pretty much every session. Um, unless you don't want them to. Uh, and yeah, so uh, next up, Rachel, what's your, uh, what's your influence look like? Choose your demeanor. Haughty or cheerful. And uh <laughs> if you're cheerful, which I'm going to be, I'm thrilled to be here and everybody gets influence over me. 
<laughs> All right. So mark on your sheets that you have influence over uh, what, Janet? What is it? Jupiter. Jupiter. Jupiter Jennings. I got the J. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> I'll get there. Uh, when, just so you guys know, and on the overlays we, uh, for the stream, I will have your uh, your character and your playbook. Um, they'll it'll cycle through them so that if you don't remember, and we'll we'll mark it in the the Zoom call as well. Um, yeah, cool. All right, Tanya, what's your influence say? Okay, sorry, I've got a pug on me. No, it's These all right. People, <laughs> these people matter for what you need to do. Give influence to two of your teammates. Oh, so need to influence. I don't understand. Yeah. That last so sentence. influence is uh, <clears throat> you can uh, if you have influence over someone, you roll plus one to uh, to moves towards that person. But basically, it is in the terms of the game. Influence is like you trust this person. You believe in what they say to you. Like you are you take their word you trust them sort of situation does that make sense yeah so i guess i think i view i would view billy as like completely legit and serious about this so i'd give influence to billy and then uh jupiter is from outer space and i think that's pretty cool <laughs> so i should give it to jupiter too and i don't want um Sophia to think I like her too much, so that's why right. I wouldn't pick her. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right, Alex, what is yours? All right, so mine is very similar to the outsiders. Choose your demeanor. Happy facade or locked down. If you choose happy facade, which I will, give influence to three teammates. If I chose locked down, it would be one teammate. But so you all get influence over Billy. Yeah. So mark on your sheets that you all have influence over Billy and jupiter and then the other two you only get two everyone someone gets left out i'll get you don't worry about it <laughs> all right is there anything else i missed that we need to go over no cool all right uh yeah so um is there anything you guys have questions for me as far as like creating your backstory or going over um, like your team or how the dynamic works in this world, what you're going to be doing in this world as far as hero work or like school work? Um, I get the story. It's just the mechanics of when we actually fight stuff when we get to yeah. it. That I don't understand, but yeah. Yeah. It'll be, do you, do you play with us in Monster of the Week? Uh-uh. That's when I okay. could make it. Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, it'll be pretty easy as far as like, you'll tell me what you want to do. And then I'll say, okay, well, roll plus danger, roll plus freak. And then, oh, uh, okay. yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy as far as like, the actual mechanics of the game go. Um, and as if you mark a condition, uh, which again, are on the far right, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what it is, or you can decide depending on what it is, the situation. So uh, if, if, the, um, if you take a powerful blow, which is because I don't roll in this game at all. So if somebody attacks you, <clears throat> you'll take a powerful blow. Uh, if you don't defend against it, you will uh, mark a condition. Uh, and you can see on the side, uh, sometimes I'll pick them, sometimes you'll pick them, and then you'll get minus two to whatever roll is applicable to that. Um, but again, it'll, it'll take that into account when you roll uh, for your things. Uh, it's we won't be doing a ton of rolling as far as like day to day stuff, unless you want to, you know, comfort or support somebody or pierce the mask of somebody, that sort of thing. Um, and it'll be, it'll get easier as, as you get into it. Once we do, um, in the first session, we will do a, uh, a fight that will be a uh, contained, uh, sort of a training exercise. So it'll be easy for us to go through and like talk through it. And it's not going to be like, Hey, you have to know this for the first session. We'll we'll be able to walk through it and and go step by step with it. So, just as long as you know your moves, um, as long as you know your uh, at, like, for you the doom stuff, we'll work on that. We'll make sure that it's like you know, getting out what you need. Um, yeah, it should be. It should once once we get into it, it's one of those things that it should be able to pick up pretty easily. And if you have any questions, uh, we have uh, two experts and and me on this stream, so 
we know we'll know if you have any if you have any questions somebody will know cool okay um yeah so uh let's talk about your dorm situation um because i think it's um y'all have a room if you want to have a roommate we can do that uh but i was thinking i would give you all your own space um if that works for everyone cool uh so i want you to think as part of your homework i want you to think about how you have styled your room and how much time you spend in there on your off time uh are you sociable are you going to hang out with people or are you stuck in your room and people have to come get you for events and stuff uh you will be able like you'll Basically, you have a cafeteria where you go eat your food um, and you have your classes, which you basically have the same, you have the same group of people that you travel with. Uh, and then there are electives just like in high school. So um, there will be classes on um, advertising, uh, your uh, hero persona. Uh, there's classes on, uh, you know, the moralities of being a hero. Um, it's the rules as far as being a hero are very uh, uh, simple. Don't kill people. Uh, you in the in the school. Don't hurt people with your powers. Don't use your powers on other people um, unless in a training situation. Um, you know, basically same high school stuff. Like don't bully. Uh, don't be a dick. But it is a high school, so there are high school bullies, but there are you know all types of people. Uh, so another thing I want you to think about as far as homework goes is I want you guys to come up with two NPCs um, that your character knows and trusts. Does not have to be in the school. Uh, it could be like your alien uh, companion that you speak to. It could be your grandpa, that sort of thing. Um, uh, and then um, as far as your dynamics with each other, feel free to uh, talk in chat about like things you've done in the past. Uh, we'll get into the dynamics basically once once we start role playing. Uh, well, I'll have a scenario for you. You're gonna start in your homeroom, uh, and they'll give out your hero assignments. Uh, but I'll give you some time to role play between each other to sort of get a vibe of how everyone's feeling, what they like, what they don't like, you know, how the personalities. Uh, mesh together um, and then uh, I'm gonna make sure that you guys have these um, and then let's see what else do I need from you guys uh, oh uh, I'll give you a list of a couple of the heroes but uh, what heroes do you look up to or what villains what supers? So that you can kind of get a hold on, um, you know, what you aspire to be to, or like, if you like fangirl over anyone or any of that sort of stuff. Cool. All right. Do you guys have any questions for me or uh, about the world or questions for each other about the game or the characters? Any clarifications? Um, I'm having yeah. trouble picking my third outsider move. Okay. So I didn't know since you've played one before if you've yeah. got any thoughts. Yeah. I so you definitely wanted belong in two worlds and alien mm -hmm. tech, but I'm having yeah. a real problem picking the third. <laughs> um, you guys, one of yours is a Kirby craft, um, yeah. which is which can be very useful. But you guys will have the uh, there is a uh, sentient creature that uh, called Mister Mister. Uh, he is sort of your um, liaison. He's going to bring you to different places. Uh, so you don't necessarily need that. Um, mm -hmm. It is an option if you want to do that. But um, let's see. Um, it is kind of tricky with the outsider as far as like you want uh, influence, uh, uh, like how you interact with your people. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking mm -hmm. the best of them might be good, but I don't know, mm -hmm. like because I don't know enough about the game mechanics yet, mm. like how often, you know, I'll be like comforting or supporting somebody, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, is that going to yeah. be like, 
is that like when we're in battle and I'm helping somebody and be like, yeah, you're awesome. You know what I mean? Like, is that yeah. really? <laughs> yeah. And then also you can also use that move for um, like talking to civilians. Uh, you can use that for uh, talking to your companions like after a battle uh, to help clear conditions and stuff like that. Um, it, other uh, masks people, is there have any other insight in there, Alex? Um, I will just reemphasize that comforting and supporting someone is probably the easiest way to clear conditions because otherwise, like the things LB was kind of talking about before, like each condition has a specific way to clear it, but it's mm -hmm. usually something destructive or bad uh, to do that. But if we're comforting and supporting each other all the time, usually that's a relatively easy way to clear conditions. And it also, you know, I don't think I've ever seen a comfort and support not be a good RP scene. Mm -hmm. exactly. I think it's like, I think that's, a, that's the one I was leaning towards because I think that's good for like character wise too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I yeah. think that one will be funny. Like, mm -hmm. oh my God. So I saw this episode once. Mm -hmm. uh, some like, random teen show. <laughs> and what you just did really reminded me of that. <laughs> or... <laughs> something really dumb that I can bring stupid pop culture references into. Absolutely. So I like that one a lot. Um, we'll do that. Okay. Thank you for your, in for your insight. You're welcome. More advanced players. <laughs> I've been playing the same character this whole time and I'm like, I think I use that sometimes. Yeah. I don't even know if you have that move in our Tuesday game. I do. I just, we usually have like breaks in between stuff, so I don't yeah. need to. Uh, yeah, clearing conditions is not super easy in this game. Um, it, it's not like, you know, you take a long rest and then you're full up on stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. it all. It, I think it takes a week for you to clear a condition. Is that right? That might be a home rule. Like, oh, okay. We'll have to check. But for the most part, conditions don't clear unless you take action to clear them. Yeah. So that's that's always a good one. Yeah, because I think I home ruled it that whenever I say time passes, you get to clear one just because mm -hmm. y'all were sitting with like three or four at times. Yeah. That's all right. Funny. Alex, well, did you have something? That's all I had. Uh, cool. Just a brief question for Savannah. How cat like or leonine is Sophia? Is it just the ears and claws and stuff, or is it like more uh, encompassing than that? Uh, do you mean physically? Yeah. Or... And okay, I mean, yeah. I guess personality too. You know, she's distracted by laser pointers. That's a very different question. Uh, no, physically, uh, I think the only, the only cat, uh, the only cat-like manifestations are the ears. Um, and she does, uh, she does like cat eye eyeliner all the time, but she does it on her own. Um, same girl, same personality wise um hmm. she just knocks things over all the time Fuck your water. no she just like she's a totally normal human but just knocks shit off the counter <laughs> no i think uh what? physically i think the cat ears are her like her major manifestation um, i think personality wise she's probably a little stubborn and a little like aggressive when there's probably no need to be like if you look at her the wrong way she's like eh, i'm gonna bite you now <laughs> kind of thing um but yeah i think that's the that's the extent of it right now it might manifest differently later but sure i was mostly wondering if we were dealing with you know a khajiit or <laughs> You know. No, it's she's she's like ninety five percent human, but has cat ears, and sometimes it's just like, oh, you pissed me off. I'm gonna knock your drink over. Makes sense. I like that. Cool. All right. Um. So yeah, get me. Do me a favor, you guys, and make sure that your character sheets have your uh your both your alias and your hero name on them. Uh, with pronouns, uh, if different than your own. Um, and then uh, those questions that I asked you, um, I don't have much more to go for tonight. Um, 
Uh, yeah, no, I can't think of anything else that would uh, be pertinent for you guys to know. If not, I'll just message you guys in the group Discord and um, we can talk about it later. We're going to start next week with our session zero or with our session one where we will be uh, true heroes in training because we're going to go to the Golden Duke Academy and find out what's going on there. Um, that's it for me. Uh, let's go around and have everybody tell us uh, who they are and where people can find you. Start with Savannah. That's me. Hello, I'm Savvy. I'm at Savvy Seaworth on the internet, mostly on Twitter, where you can find my streaming schedule pinned to the top of my page. Uh, for the most part, I am on my home channel. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash game nights is game with two G's and nights with a K. Uh, you can find me there Thursdays through Sundays and in the coming weeks, uh, perhaps on other days as well, because we have some exciting announcements uh, for new shows coming up. Uh, but we'll, I'll tweet about those. So follow me on Twitter. Um, and then I'm here on Sunday nights. So yeah i'm the i'm the girl with the wigs and the cat ears mostly hell yeah thank you very much next up is miss rachel hey that's me you can find me here on twitch at rachel Elizabeth, where i stream things like dead by daylight and uh i just finished playing through until dawn which um <laughs> was just full of fucking jump scares and me uh being terrified all the time um, but it was hilarious. And then I just immediately started it again because in the last like 30 seconds of my playthrough, my first one, I accidentally killed two more people right before we were rescued. So, you know, that's cool. Um, so now I'm going to try to play through it again and not kill uh, as many people this time. Um, and uh, you can come here on Sundays doing whatever it is that we're going to be doing. Masks for now. Who knows what else? Um, and then wherever else on the internet, my friends ask me to be when they ask me to be there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. And next up is Tanya. Oh, hey, you can find me at Tanya Rowan on Instagram, uh, Twitter. I don't really do anything on. Or I have a Twitter for the, or not a Twitter, an Instagram for the pugs, the abominable pugs. If you want to follow Give that. Give me that. I think I'm that. the only follower on it. So I need to post more stuff. Um, and yeah, my podcast, Spider Facts with Billy. I pretend to be an eight-year-old boy who talks to spiders. It's going to get real weird here coming up. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got. Fun Thank day. you very much. And new to the channel, long time caller, long time watcher, first time caller, Alex. <laughs> yes, hello. I'm Alex OMG. It's some guy on the internet. Uh, I guess you can follow me on TikTok as LB's chat command used to say. She's fixed it. Uh, I'm mostly on Twitter uh, and also mostly on GGK along with Savannah. I'm there. Usually Tuesdays, Thursdays, and sometimes Saturdays. I'll be in absentia this upcoming week because life's going to be busy, but uh, you'll be able to see me there. I guess probably the next time I'll be back will be a uh, Tuesday game, which will, that's probably going to be the Burbs, one of the games where LB and I are the two players running through Savage Worlds. Uh, our characters just slept together, so that's Yay! always fun. Finally. Yep. <laughs> We've been building them as, you know, the two leads from the mummy for so long. And if it's it was a very slow burn. Yeah. It was They've it also was a died great... several times because it's yeah. a Groundhog's Day thing. We're probably gonna die again soon. We're 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 really pushing it here. Yeah, we're going to like a haunted house that no one's ever come back out of. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. No, honestly, that's one of my favorite games that I'm in, The Burbs. It is very funny. It is very intense. Uh, it is very spooky. And uh, yeah, I, watch it if you haven't, because our, our awkward babes are just insane. And I love it. <laughs> So thank you very much, you guys, for hanging out with me on this silly uh, session zero. Again, if you have any questions, just message me later. I'm LB Hackem. You can find me here Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesday, we are going to be playing some Dead by Daylight with a guest or a friend of the channel. Uh, Flapjack Jacob is learning how to play Dead by Daylight. So I am going to walk him through how to do it and how to live and die. So, And then on Friday, Lauren and I are going to be playing uh, games together. I, I'm, I think we're going to play um, uh, 
at Dead of Night. They all all horror games have the same name, and it's just it's just switched around a little bit. So uh, we're gonna play that, and then uh, we'll be back here for our first session of uh, the Heroes in Training. And I'm excited to see all these guys. I'm excited to see you guys in chat. Um, but until next time, I'm LB Hack 'em up, hack recklessly. Bye.